Hey, mate, how are you doing? Oh, mate, you're in for absolute stunners today. Kevin Hart, he goes to the moon. He doesn't really go to the moon. He hasn't got a rocket. He's not from NASA. I don't know what he does. You have to watch, mate. You have to watch. <laughs> Hey folks, how you doing? Good to see you again. Right, today I hope you're not feeling hungry because we're going to learn about Cornish pasties. So this vlog about Cornish pasties uh, is very close to my heart. I eat a few a week at least, uh, as most of us do that live down in Cornwall. Cornish pasties date back hundreds of years. Uh, since the mining time, they are a, a national dish for us down here. So before we begin, if you could hit the subscribe button. If you can hit the like button, I'd much appreciate it. The origins of the pasty are unclear, though there are many references to them throughout historical documents dating back hundreds of years. Today, the pasty is the food most associated with Cornwall. It is regarded as the national dish and accounts for 6% of the Cornish food economy. And as you can see here, last year a school in Cornwall conducted an experiment that sent a Cornish pasty into space, this confirming the high regard that people in Cornwall have for the mighty Cornish pasty. Over 150 years ago when the miners took their pasties into the dark depths of the pit, their pasties would serve as a complete meal, with savoury on one side and sweet on the other. The miners would then discard the crimp of the pasty as their hands would be contaminated with arsenic and other minerals from the mine. The ingredients used in Cornish pasties these days is a pinch of salt and pepper, potatoes, swede and onions and a bit of skirt beef. We're going to buy in this Cornish pasty place a traditional size steak pasty and we're gonna buy a cocktail pasty as well so let's go and see what it's all about oh wow they look so good this shop sells traditional steak and cheese and onion mm. right hello again we've got the pasties from the shop so we have the traditional large steak there we go and we also have the cocktail pasty for the smaller mouths this pasty is crammed full of potato swede and a minimum of 12 percent steak in the pasty that's an actual law down in, in cornwall so let's take a bite have a look at that This is so good. And I know in, in olden times, the miners used to hold on the pasty like this to keep their um, pasty clean and they just used to throw away the crusts. But the crust, the crimp, I should say, is actually one of the best bits. And there you can see the meat in there. incredible so if you come to Cornwall you have to try one of these out these are amazing mm. so good there isn't just one flavor there's not just the traditional steak there's uh, Thai chicken cheese and onion all sorts Stilton and broccoli so let me know what your favorite is in the comments below until next time, see you later.